Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to get all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to get double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And I also want to say peace and salutations to you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here preaching this gospel in our truthfulness and sincerity, man. And with that, the Most High put His Holy Spirit upon me to do this quick sit down from the book of Psalms chapter 1 so with that I'm going to start reading this is the book of Psalms chapter 1 uh, starting at verse 1 and it reads blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly now who are the ungodly man the ungodly are the wicked it says blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, man. And if you, if we look up the uh, Strong's definition of ungodly, it's going to tell us uh, that it is the wicked. And the app that I'm going to is, this is called uh, My Sword Bible app. Uh, Psalms. Chapter 1 and verse 1. And the Strong's for Ungodly is H 7563, which the H stands for Hebrew. And when you click on it, you get the word Rasha. Rasha means ungodly, and it, it reads the wicked criminal, guilty one. One guilty of crime, wicked, hostile to the Most High Yahweh, wicked, guilty of sin, man. Hopefully, this captures that. Huh. So, continuing on, uh, nor standeth in the way of sinners, man nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And in his law do if he meditate day and night. And, you know, that's what us hopeful elect we do or should be doing, man. I know I meditate on this, the law of the Most High day and night, man, when I wake up. The first thing I'm thinking about is the Most High, man, and His Word, which is this Bible, all through the day. And even when I go to bed and even when I'm sleeping, man, I be dreaming of scriptures, man. Um, continuing on. And He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth His fruit in His season. His leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper, man. And that's true because you got to imagine a tree that is planted by a river, man, it flourishes, man. Because it has constant, it's getting constantly fed, man. It's getting constantly fed. That water is never thirsty, man. Uh, and, and continuing on in verse 4, the ungodly are not so. But which are, which who are the ungodly again? The wicked. But are like the chaff which the wind driveth away, man. So we're going to look that up real quick. Chaff, because I didn't know what that meant. So I had to look it up in the Strong's definition, man. And what it says is to constantly blown, man. Constantly blown. So uh, let's get that. Verse 4. Con and chaff is H4671 in the Strong's definition, man. And it says the definition is always driven by wind. Con, uh, so lucky about that. The, uh, how you uh, pronounce it is motes. Motes. Let me get that. All 
as always driven by wind, man. Uh, continue on in verse 5. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish, man. So it says, uh, the, the Lord, Yahweh knoweth the way of the righteous, man, the most high. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, he know what all of us do, man. He know what the righteous do, and he know what the wicked do. And us proclaiming to be righteous, man, we always got to keep that in mind, man. Always watching the things that we say, and also watching the things that we do, because the Most High sees that, man. And I'm going to get a precept real quick, and this is going to be the book of Proverbs, chapter 15 and verse 3. It reads, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, man, beholding the evil and good, man. So we always got to keep that in mind, man. The most high watching every single thing that we do, everything that we do is being recorded, man, because we're going to be judged. And um, matter of fact, I'm going to get that real quick. I'm going to get another precept. This is uh, going to be the book of... First Peter, kind. This is First Peter, chapter four, and verse seventeen. And it re- starting at verse seventeen, it reads, "For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, Yahweh. And if it first begin at us." What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High, Yahweh, man? So, the Most High, when his judgment comes, he's going to start with those of us who profess to be in this truth, man. We're going to get judged first. Continuing on in verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved... Where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear, man? So if the just in the eyes of the Most High are going to scarcely be saved, man, a remnant going to be saved, that that question is asking, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, man? So kind. We have to always be mindful of what we're doing, man. With that, I want to get another uh, precept. And this is going to be uh, the book of Amos. Uh, kind of the book of Amos chapter 9, verse 8 and 9. Kind of, and it reads, uh, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, power, are upon the sinful kingdom, man. Because like I had brought out in uh, Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 3, the Most High, he, he seeth everything, man. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, man. The Most High is going to destroy the sinful kingdom off of the face of the earth, man. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 9, For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, man. And that's another cut. Letting you know that the nation of Israel was scattered across all four corners of the earth, and we're not going to all look like, for example, me. They're going to look like People of all the nations, man, because their bloodline goes back to the so-called Negro, Latino, or the Native American, man. Uh, continuing on. Like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth, man. Kind. 
So the most high, man, he doing that now, especially we can see that going on, man. Right now, you got guys falling out because they don't want to do three 10-minute videos a week, man. The most high is sifting, you know, the nation of Israel. He going to keep the good and he going to cast away the bad. So, you know, with that, hopefully this video was edifying to uh, those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, call Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And I also want to say peace and salutations again to all you out came across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. Man, stay prayed up and keep pushing. Shalom.